Welcome friends. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert HTML to PDF in ReactJS without writing a single line of backend code. So, uh, you will learn how to render an HTML as a PDF in the browser and you will be able to do all the operations like zooming in and downloading the file as well. And we will also learn how to apply some styles to the PDF and render uh, complex elements like images and links. So, if you are new here, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And if you don't subscribe to the channel, then I will curse you that anytime you watch a video on YouTube, you would have to watch the ad that you hate the most. Okay, so if you don't want to get cursed, please subscribe to the channel. So with that out of the way, let's begin uh, coding. So first of all, I've created a new React app and here is my app.js file. So first of all, let's clear the entire boilerplate code. And now it's a blank slate. And next we need to grab a package a package that's called react pdf and this is the website so let's grab this command from here uh, i'm using yarn you can use npm if you prefer that i go to my project folder in my cli and uh, install the package like this okay so the package has been installed now, uh, let's go to our code and here we will first create a new component. Okay. So, our component will be called, let's call it my document. Or let's just say my PDF. Okay. And we'll create a structure of the component. And we are uh, writing a functional component you can do a class component if, for learning sake if you like now inside of this component uh, instead uh, of returning any HTML we will return something that's called a document right and this document would come from the package that we installed all right so this is how the import would look like cool so basically you define a pdf document with these tags all right now first of all we'll create a page inside of this document and you do that with the page component which is again imported from this package like this now a page as you can guess will become a page in our pdf now this page would take some attributes right the first one is size so a page we are going to make it an a4 sized page okay and uh, we can uh, put something inside of that page and first of all let's place a view now we'll import this view again from the package like this and inside this view let's place a text and this text again is imported from the same package right now we can uh, write anything let's say uh, what is a panda okay so this is the text now if you go back to your screen you don't see anything because although we have created this component we haven't rendered it yet on the screen so now we come here and what we do here is we just render the my uh, PDF component here like this. Okay. Now, as you can see, you can see the text. What is a panda rendered normally as a component as it does in react like HTML. Okay. So this is not a PDF file. Now what you need to do in order to render a PDF file or in order to render the document you created as a in a pdf viewer component so to do that we'll need to import the pdf viewer 
component again from the same package like this note that this line is of very importance so now we place our my pdf component inside of this pdf viewer and we save now let's go back to the browser and as you can see here there is a small iframe if you go to the uh, elements you will be able to see that inside app there is an iframe so our pdf is rendered inside an iframe now the size of this iframe is very small so let's make it a bit large to do that we go to our pdf viewer and we add an attribute of height so for now let's add an attribute of height of 760 and let's give it a width of 1200 now you can do it whatever is uh, looks good on your screen so this is how it looks and as you can see we now have a pdf viewer in our browser in our react app and that renders one page and one page has some text called what is a punt okay now what we can do is we can add another page and to do that all you need to do is just copy the page and paste it again so now you should have two a4 size pages as you can see here let's uh, change it uh, the page to do something else let's say what is a penguin and here is what is a penguin and you have another page on what is a panda it's very cool isn't it yeah so if you're if you're liking it so far like the video now let's move ahead what we'll do is we'll try and add some styles to these pages so let's make the first page uh, yellow okay so how do we do that in order to do that we need to apply some styles so uh, let's create some styles and we'll create some styles using the style sheet uh, object uh, right and we import the style sheet and do know that this style sheet will again come from this package from here like this so style sheet dot create and inside of this this will take an object and this will be the style sheet object so now let's create a style for page one and page one let's give it a background color of say yellow okay and it's not applied yet because we need to go and put the styles on our page so we go back to our page and on our page we'll set the style attribute here and inside of this we'll just give styles dot page one and save and as you can see our first page has the background color of yellow so now let's put some more text on the page so I'll create another text tag and here let's copy some text uh, from here okay and we have some text here now as you can see that this text is uh, almost mixed up with the title so let's try and apply some styles to separate these so we go to the, our first text and we give it a style of styles dot heading now we need to create this style so we go back in our style sheets and we create a heading style and we give it some font size let's say 40 and as you can see the title is bigger and then we can also give it some margin bottom of 20 so now we have some good space okay and now to page one we can basically give it some padding let's try and give some padding of let's say 10 and we have some padding so let's make it 20 yeah that's much better isn't it so we have a page we have a page that has a padding a background color a nice title and some text now let's put try and put some image here so to do that we'll create an image tag 
uh, below the text and this image note that again will be imported from our package like this here so this image will take a source attribute now unlike react uh, this source will be an object that has a URI key and that URI will point to the image so let's grab an image of a panda copy image address and one thing to note here is that this URI must either end in a .png or .jpg file so we remove this last part so that we have .jpg at the end and now we go back and here is our image yeah that's a nice looking panda and if you like this panda like the video and subscribe to the channel so now we have a title a paragraph and an image the next thing would be let's put a link at the bottom okay so to put a link we create a link component again from the same package like this and the import should look like this and then we give uh, some text to this link let's say learn more about pandas okay and this link can take an href just like in html and we can put a link inside it there like this save and here is the link and you can click on it and it goes to the website cool so you can create a pdf that has inter uh, good elements like title paragraphs background colors uh, you can give images you can uh, give uh, create links you can create multiple pages and you can basically let your imagination run wild now after let's say after you have converted your html to a pdf you can allow the user to uh, see it and the user can also download it so you can hit this download button and save it on your device let's try that after the device is saved you can open it and it's a proper pdf file which you can send to other people and do anything you want with it now do notice that this pdf file has this title right and that is not that does not look very good so you can change this by going to your page right or instead going to your document and to a document you can add a title attribute that says uh, let's say animals right and as you can see the title has changed here now so now when you share this pdf this will have this title and this pdf viewer has all the elements of a normal pdf viewer you can zoom in zoom out and change the port uh, orientation as well rotate the pages you can do a print preview you can directly print from here right yeah so that's how you render a pdf from html in react without writing any server code now you might be wondering what could you use this for so there are many use cases for this so let's say one could be that you need to uh, may, uh, allow user to download some invoice after they make a payment so after they make a payment you can just show their invoice in the uh, browser like this and they can download it from there or you just want to make a site uh, where people can read ebooks right or uh, just create their resume so they can enter the details in a form uh, all the resume details in a form and then you can render it uh, like this uh, programmatically in a pdf and allow them to download it so these are some use cases uh, for this uh, uh, practice of converting html to pdfs okay and if you like this video uh, please subscribe the channel this is it for this time and if you don't wanna if you don't subscribe as i said i will curse you
and you will see the video that you hate the most. So that's all my time for today. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.